I'll, I want to be quite frank with you here. If the British withdraw, I'm prepared to go on with the Australians and the New Zealanders, but I'm not prepared to go on with the Americans. What? Why not, Mr. Prime Minister? Why do you think America... Well, can I put it this way? I think there are highly intelligent, well-meaning often, people, and some of their leaders, like Kennedy, the late president, had signs of growing greatness, depth. But, you know, by and large, the administration lacks depth. And judgment or wisdom, which comes out of an accumulation of knowledge of human beings and human situations over a long period of time, that's lacking. And it's not their fault. What have they got? Three, four hundred years of history? And they've become a nation just recently. You know, I'll tell you this. I've had three experiences, only three experiences with the Americans. And they did not intend any harm in each one of them. But the tragedy was they did real harm. First, this is old stuff now. We caught an American CIA agent trying to subvert our intelligence special branch officer. Bribe him so that the special branch officer will feed the CIA because the CIA wants to know what's happening. I mean subverting a Singapore officer. The man might have succeeded, but I'm proud to say that the officer offered large sum of money and continuing sums of money. This was in 1960. Refused and reported the matter to his chief who reported it to me. Man was caught locked up and it was on razor's edge whether we charged him in open court or not. No, no, let me explain this. When I told the American government, all right, we keep quiet, you take this man away. One hundred million dollars to the Singapore government for economic development. You know? No, 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 listen to me. I didn't tell, you know, I, I never spoke to the Americans direct because, you know, it's, they, are, uh, they lack the finesse and, you know, some, they, they may say, yes, they give it to you. Why not? To the, why to the Singapore government just give to you, to me, which would have ruined me. But through an intermediary, they offered me and my party $10 million. I mean, the insult, you know. I told them, keep it. No, no, this is important. Do not forget this. And this is why I want, I have not the slightest doubt that my two colleagues, Dr. To and Dr. and Mr. Rajaratnam, go on this tour of Afro-Asia, which they'll do as soon as the local affairs are settled. I have not the slightest doubt that Afro-Asia will be with us. You've you see, unlike, the... if Cuba with an American base, with American sovereignty, is independent and not a new colonialist stooge, then me, the people of Singapore, owners of the British bases, I mean, I could give you a notice, 24 hours notice, you have to quit. Or you're committing an act of aggression with very serious consequences. Oh, very true. Oh, yeah, surely. Uh, I think, Mr. Lee, 